Namaskar friends in this video you will learn about the subject basic electrical engineering unit number 2 ac circuits the major topic is three phase ac circuits friends why we require three phase ac system we all know that electrical power is supplied from generation end to the consumer end over a long distance by using a transmission and distribution networks the single phase supply has the limitation for bulk power transfer as per its design for the increased requirement of electrical power one has to increase the size of the supply cables and conductors but again it will increase the size and cost of associated structures at last it will not be economical to increase the size of the single phase conductors for bulk power transfer for long distances beyond certain limits to overcome this limitation that means to supply bulk amount of power for long distances as an economical and viable solution three phase supply system is required apart from above three phase system has many advantages over single phase which makes it attractive now let us compare few points between single phase and three phase ac systems single phase system supply through one conductor whereas in three phase system power supply through three conductors wave shape of single phase has only one wave whereas in three phase there are three individual waves for three different phases r y b single phase supply requires two wires for completing the circuit whereas in three phase it requires four wires single phase supply carry 230 volt as a standard difference in india and for three phase system it is 415 volt single phase network is a simple but three phase network is comparatively complex the overall losses in single phase system is considerable whereas in three phase it is less efficiency of single phase system is less as compared to the three phase system single phase system is less economical than three phase system single phase system is mostly used in home appliances and for commercial purpose three phase system is used in few residences but it mostly used in industries to supply heavy loads the supply structure components are less numbers in single phase system as compared to three phase system the single phase type load only uses any one phase and a neutral whereas the three phase load uses either three phases only or three phase and a neutral the three phase type load is comparatively higher consumption loads now generation of three phase ac emf it is convenient to understand generation of three phase emf based on the generation concept of single phase emf by using a rotating vector concept this figure explains the rotating vector you can see in this animation aap dekh rahe hai ki jo ye left hand side ki figure hai usme ye omega t angle pe एक ऑरेंज कलर का जो वेक्टर बताया है दैट वेक्टर रोटेट्स इन अ मैकेनिकल मूवमेंट कंप्लीट 360 डिग्री वो जो रोटेट घूमता है वेक्टर घूमता है वो 360 डिग्री घूमता है दैट इज इन मैकेनिकल उसका इक्विवेलेंट अगर हम वेव फॉर्म दैट मीन्स इन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी में देखें तो दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ साइन वेव दैट मीन्स द मूवमेंट ऑफ दैट वैक्टर इज नथिंग बट द फंक्शन ऑफ साइन वेव that is represented is in this circuit the quantity under consideration is the sine function of the rotating vector the maximum value of the quantity in sine wave is nothing but the length of the rotating vector the three phase emf generation concept represents by mechanical and vector arrangements this diagram shows the mechanical arrangement of ryb windings in the generator the right hand side figure represents the vector or phasor diagram it is nothing but the electromagnetic waves 
each phase are 120 degree electrically apart from each other. The vector arrangement is called phasor diagram or vector diagram. The order in which the voltages in three phases reach their maximum positive value is called the phase sequence. It may be in RYB terms or may be in RBY sequence. The three phase EMF represents by three rotating vector arrangements. Now you can very well understand from this rotating vector diagram. These rotating vectors are in motion in the space. So it is also called space vector. The waveform of the three phase system gives clear idea about the magnitude, phase difference, frequency and instantaneous position of each phasors on a sinusoidal waveform. Now this graph is the representation of three phases in graphical manner and right hand side is the equivalent mathematical representation of this rotating vector and uh, three phase waves. Now let us try to understand. On right hand side mathematically first equation is ER is equal to EM sin omega t. This equation is for the R phase sine wave. Second one is EY is equal to EM sin omega t minus 120 degree. Now here minus 120 degree represents the time difference or leg difference between R phase and Y phase. That means Y phase will start from 120 degree of the reference R wave starting. So it is lagging behind 120 degree. EB is equal to EM sin omega t minus 240 degree. That means this minus 240 degree represents that the B phase will start after 240 degree from first start point of the R phase. Considering R phase as a reference vector, the direction of other phasors are determined for easy understanding. The three phase supply and load can be connected in two manners. That means either in star configuration or in delta configuration. This diagram represents the three phase star connection. In this diagram, there are three windings. First one is the R winding, red color. There are two ends of this winding, R1 and R2. Second one is for the Y phase winding, Y1, Y2 end and blue phase winding, B1, B2 end. Now to form this star configuration, we have to common each individual end of this three winding which makes a common point that is denoted by capital N and it is known as neutral point. Where is in a delta connection? Again there are three windings R, Y, B but in this if we connect this delta configuration then this R1 end is to be connected to the Y2, Y1 end is to be connected to B2 and B1 end is to be connected to R2. That means the first end of the first winding is to be connected to the second end of the next winding. The three phase supply and load can be connected in other ways also. You can see this. This is technically connections are same as the previous diagram but here this is the change in visual. Same way for delta connection. Now this star connection configuration is like the star phase which is having a common point whereas delta connection is like delta that is nothing but the geometrical concept. General observations. The star connection have a common point called neutral. Hence the star connection supply used for single phase type loads. The star connection supply can also be used for three phase type loads in both configuration. That means three phase three wire supply without neutral and three phase four wire supply with neutral. The delta connection do not have any common point. Hence the delta connection supply is used for three phase type loads. Friends, if you have any query regarding these topics, you can email us on bhavin.kanani at the rate 
darshan.ac.in for more details you can also refer our website www.darshan.ac.in